Sophie, oh my goodness, I'm literally bursting with life and energy right now. I swear, I feel like I've turned back the clock by a whole decade. No kidding. It's like the universe decided to gift me with the ultimate dose of bliss, and I can't stop grinning from ear to ear. Oh, mom, what is it that makes you so happy? I have some absolutely incredible news to share. It's about your sister-in-law, Lucy. She's pregnant. Ah, surprise. She just texted me about it a few minutes ago, but I can't hold my excitement and I have to tell you right away. I've been praying for this for years and it's finally happened. Oh, I'm so grateful to God for answering my prayers. Wow, really? That's great news. I'm really happy for Lucy and her husband. I was so worried about Lucy when I heard that she was having trouble conceiving. I couldn't eat or sleep properly for a good while. Now, Lucy's finally getting pregnant after all those years of infertility treatment. She can proudly tell the whole world that she's expecting. Isn't that amazing, Sophie? I know that Lucy's husband, Harrison, will be overjoyed when he hears this. He's been wanting a child for so long. Of course he will. He's her husband, isn't he? Now listen, I'm planning to hold a small party for Lucy at my house on Monday. I need you to come over and clean up for me. I know you'll be okay with it, right? It's not like you have anything better to do. I've compiled a list of chores for you to do. It's no heavy work. Just some light gardening, mowing the lawn, cleaning the gutters. Oh, and of course, cleaning the whole house too. I need everything to be perfect for Lucy's arrival on Monday. I don't care what it takes. I want it done. I'm sorry. I can't do everything you just said. I'm feeling a little tired lately, and I'd rather spend my free time resting. What? You're saying you're tired? But you've been like this for months now. I've heard nothing but excuses from you about why you can't come and help me. If you can't even take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of my son? I bet you just dump all the housework on Josh, right? Ugh, what an irresponsible wife. Are you faking sick to slack off on your duties as a daughter-in-law? Of course not. It's true that I haven't been feeling well at all recently. Do you know why you're so sick all the time? It's all because of your sheer laziness. Take a good, hard look at yourself in the mirror. You've become nothing more than a worthless, overweight slob. Though I can't help but wonder, just how many pounds have you piled on since marrying my son? You know, all that lounging around and munching on fried chips really isn't helping you build any strength. If you would come over to my house and do the chores for me more often, you wouldn't be sick all the time. No wonder you haven't been able to get pregnant after all these years of living with my son. You always lack energy and look like you're about to die. You know what? An infertile woman is basically a worthless woman. I've told you this a million times, Mom. I'm not infertile and I'm totally capable of getting pregnant. Oh, I can sense your desperate desire for a child, but let's be honest. It's time to accept defeat. Lucy has clearly come out on top in this competition. Even if you were to miraculously become pregnant, you'd still be a loser compared to Lucy. My daughter is the true champion. And I can't contain any of my excitement as I celebrate her remarkable victory over you. <laughs> um, wait, what competition are you referring to? Are you suggesting that who gets pregnant first is some kind of competition? That doesn't sit quite well with me, honestly. Oh, naturally, it's absolutely a competition. After all, I've invested my precious time, effort, and even money into assisting Lucy in her journey to conceive. So, of course I expect to gain something in return for all my efforts. It's only fair, don't you think? Ugh, of course, how silly of me. What could an infertile woman like you possibly understand about the overwhelming happiness of having a child? You'll always be on the outside looking in, watching other families with their children, knowing that you'll never have that. But don't worry, it's not your fault. It's just fate. Some people are meant to have children and some people are meant to be alone. That's just how life works. So why don't you just give up already? You'll never be a mother, so there's no point in even trying. Just accept the fate and move on. Well, I'm sorry if this comes as bad news to you, but I found out about my pregnancy like six months ago. And why on earth do you think of pregnancy as a competition? It's a beautiful and natural thing that should be celebrated. 
not turned into a contest. Lucy has been dedicated to her infertility treatment, and she deserves to have a child. However, it doesn't give you the right to belittle me with your condescending words. No, <laughs> pregnant? You? But I thought you were infertile. This can't be possible. And why can't I? I'm perfectly healthy and capable of having a child, just like any other woman. What, so you weren't infertile this whole time? But you're even older than your husband. Women your age can't get pregnant. You lied to me. You kept this a secret from me. I was so thrilled to know that you couldn't have a child and Lucy got pregnant before you. But now you just ruined everything. I've already explained countless times that I am not infertile. Josh and I simply weren't ready to start a family earlier because we were prioritizing our careers. However, once our financial situation improved and we felt prepared, we decided it was the perfect time to have children and proceeded with our plan. I absolutely refuse to accept this. Do you have any idea how much effort I invested in helping Lucy conceive? I've been praying to God every single night, practicing charity, accumulating good deeds, all for what? Just so someone like you can come along and snatch the victory away from Lucy? How is this fair to me? Tell me! Listen, I'll make this crystal clear, and I won't repeat myself. I am indeed carrying Josh's child, and you need to accept that as the truth. Moreover, let's get something straight. Pregnancy is not a game or a competition. It doesn't matter who becomes pregnant first. So stop seeing it as if it were a battle between me and Lucy. Oh, fine. You're pregnant. So what? That doesn't mean you get to slack off on your chores. You still have to come to my house and do all the cleaning. No questions asked. No, Valentina. Now that you're aware of my pregnancy, it's time for you to respect my boundaries and refrain from trying to overstep them. I won't be coming over to your house to do any household chores or fulfill any other requests you may have. Are you honestly going to demand that an elderly woman like myself handles all the housework alone? Have you even stopped to consider the excruciating back pain I experience? Do you realize that my age is catching up with me? Wearing me down day by day. My body resists movement, and my bones feel as if they could shatter at any given moment. But you're not even that old, so please stop acting like it. I'm sure you'll be able to take care of the domestic chores just fine on your own. From now on, if you need anything, please text Josh. I won't be available to help you. What? Are you seriously trying to shift your responsibilities onto my son? That is absolutely unacceptable. Listen, if you're not willing to come over and assist me with the housework, then don't even consider attending Lucy's pregnancy announcement party on Monday. In fact, starting now, you're excluded from every significant family event. Do you hear me? Hey, Sophie. Mom told me that you're pregnant this whole time. Is that true? Yeah, it's true what she said. I'm actually pregnant with Josh's kid. Seriously? Why didn't you or Josh tell me about it? Why did the two of you keep it a secret for so long? I'm sorry. I was just worried about mom. You know how she is about who will get pregnant first between us. I figured she wouldn't be happy if I told her I got pregnant before you, and I was right. What about me? Don't I deserve to know? I thought you would tell mom about my pregnancy after I told you. I know how close you and mom are, so I assumed you would want to share the news with her right away. Seriously, Sophie. Do you think I'm the kind of person who'd run to mom and tell her everything? You've really hurt my feelings and my self-respect. I can't believe you'd think so lowly of me. I'm sorry if you thought I was accusing you of tattling to mom. I just don't want to deal with her drama. You know how she is. She's always making things into a competition. She even refers to getting pregnant as some kind of contest. That's why I was hesitant to tell her about my pregnancy. However, I felt forced to tell her about my pregnancy. She would have kept taunting me about being infertile or ordering me to run her errands if I hadn't revealed the truth. Ugh, really? I'm so sorry for what my mom did to you. I feel ashamed and I'd like to apologize on her behalf. I know my mom hasn't been the best mother-in-law to you since you married my brother, 
and it's only gotten worse since she found out about my fertility struggles. Thank you. I appreciate your thoughtfulness. It means a lot to me. Hey, I just heard that my mom is planning a small party to celebrate my pregnancy on Monday. I'd love for you to come. I know she originally planned it as a party just for me, but since you're also an expectant mother, I'm sure she wouldn't mind making it a joint celebration for the two of us. It would be so much fun to celebrate with you. So what do you think? Come on, you can't say no to this, can you? To be honest, I don't feel like I'm up for the party at all. I think it would be best if you and the rest of the family enjoyed it without me. Why not? Don't tell me that you still hold a grudge against my mother. I thought you were better than that. No, it's not that. Honestly, Valentina told me herself that she doesn't want me at the party. So I don't think it's a good idea for me to show up on Monday. You're already familiar with her, right? She's always had some kind of prejudice against me, and I know she won't be happy to see me. Did your mom really tell you that she doesn't want you at the party? Ugh, that's so rude of her, honestly. I'm utterly embarrassed to be her daughter. <sighs> Look, just ignore what my mom told you, okay? You already know that my mom has been acting crazy ever since you became part of her family, right? She's not supposed to treat you that way at all, especially since you're her daughter-in-law. But rest assured, I'm here to assist you in reclaiming justice. You'll no longer have to concern yourself with enduring harassment from my mother. From now on, I'll protect you and stand up for you against my mom. Really? That's so nice of you. I didn't know that you would care so much about me. So, what do you say? Are you coming to my baby announcement party on Monday? I assure you that you'll have an incredible time with us. And I'll also ensure that my mom extends the warmest and most friendly welcome she's capable of giving you. Surely, you aren't heartless enough to decline my invitation, are you? Come on, I insist. You must join the party. Well, I don't know. I'm still worried that Valentina might do something she's not supposed to when she sees me at the party. I seriously don't want to ruin the moment for you and everyone else. Oh, please. How much longer must I continue persuading you to join us? Look, as a gesture of kindness, I myself am going to make you a delicious fruit pie. I know that's one of your favorite dishes, isn't it? But that's not all. I'll also prepare a special gift for you. I'll keep it a secret and you'll only find out what it is once you open it at the party. Oh, fruit pie and a special gift? That sounds like a real treat. In that case, I suppose I have no reason to say no anymore. Could you please let me know what time the party will start? Mom said it'll start around 5. Do you think you can make it at that time? Hmm, it's a bit early though. I'm not sure if Josh will have arrived home by that time or not. Josh? Will he also be coming with you? Yeah, I guess so. He's your big brother after all. But is something wrong with that? No, of course not. Just... Don't tell him that I invited you, okay? Oh, okay. Sure. Ah, oh, that's my good sister-in-law. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some shopping to do with mom. So, I'll see you at the party then. Hi, Josh. Lucy told me that she's having a baby announcement party at your mom's place this Monday at around 5 p.m. Do you think you can make it? Oh, really? Lucy's baby announcement party? Are you planning on going? Yeah, I didn't want to go at first because of your mom's prejudices against me. I know she's not happy about me getting pregnant before Lucy, but then, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but Lucy specifically asked me to keep it a secret from you. What's wrong? Just tell me, we're husband and wife, so we should be able to talk to each other about anything that's bothering us. You know I'm always willing to listen and support you all the way, right? It's just that, I'm a little conflicted. Lucy made every effort to invite me to her party, but she asked me to hide from you the fact that she's the one who extended the invitation. She seemed so sincere, and I didn't want to hurt her feelings. She even said that she would protect me from your mom, and that really touched me. She also told me that she would make me a fruit pie and give me a special gift. I don't know, but I think she really wants to make amends for what your mom did to me. Are you being serious? It's Lucy herself who insisted that you join her baby announcement party. Yeah, but she asked me to keep it a secret that she invited me to her party, and I have no clue why she did that. Look, there's something seriously wrong here. To be honest, I don't think you should go to that party at all. Why? What's wrong? I'm hesitant to tell you this, but I think you should know. 
I spoke to Lucy's husband the other day and he said that she's been acting strange lately. She's been cursing and swearing a lot and he even caught her destroying photos of you in our family albums. Not only that, she also brought home a suspicious looking doll that seemed evil and malicious. She even chanted something to it. Lucy's husband was so scared that he got rid of the doll. After finding out about that, Lucy was furious. She told her husband that the doll was meant for. I'm not sure if you want to hear this because it's really terrifying. What? What was the doll meant for? Well, according to Lucy, the doll was supposedly enchanted in some way to to cause you to lose your baby. I'm sorry for uttering such a dreadful statement, but Lucy herself made that claim. What? She said that? That's absolutely horrifying. She's an expectant mother herself. How could she even think of doing something so vile to me? I literally did nothing to offend her or harm her. Never. This is unacceptable. Yes, I know. Listen, whatever you do, don't come to the party. It's clear that Lucy is up to no good, and I don't want you to get hurt. Yeah, absolutely. Your story sends a shiver down my spine. I had no idea Lucy was capable of such evil and vindictiveness. I'm glad you told me the truth, or else I would have been in big trouble if I went to the party. Yeah, I was completely horrified when I heard the whole story from Lucy's husband. He even told me that he wants to divorce Lucy, but I don't think she's known about it yet. Apparently, Lucy blamed her husband for their infertility at first, even calling him names. But after they both got tested, it turned out that Harrison is perfectly healthy and Lucy is the one with fertility issues. Divorce? Wow. But isn't it a bit harsh for Lucy? She just got pregnant and she needs her husband by her side to support her. I honestly don't know, but it's their problem and they're adults, so they should be able to handle it. Yeah, you're right. It's not my place to interfere in their personal matters. I'll let Lucy know that I won't be able to make it to the party then. I can't believe Lucy invited you to her baby announcement party. And she even asked me to treat you nicely and apologize to you. Did you torture my daughter and made her do that? What nerve! I made it perfectly clear to you last time that you weren't welcome at this event. Do you think I'm a joke? Does my word mean nothing to you? If you had any decency, you would have stayed away from us and not shown your face. You know very well that you don't belong in our family. Excuse me if I offended you. I didn't want to come to the party, but Lucy insisted. Don't be ridiculous. My daughter would never invite you to her baby announcement party. You're delusional if you think that's even a possibility. We're a family with pride, dignity, and self-respect, and we would never associate with someone like you. So stop making up stories. You're only making yourself look pathetic. I'm not making anything up. Lucy told me herself that she wanted to make amends to me and apologize on your behalf. She even said that I could be the guest of honor at the party and that she would prepare me a fruit pie and a special gift. So you have the nerve to order my daughter to bake a pie for you? And the pie that's just been delivered to my house is meant for you, not for me? Who do you think you are to treat my daughter like that? You think she's your personal servant? What an entitled and disrespectful human being. Guess what? She's not your puppet. And you have no right to tell her what to do. I didn't force her to do anything. She was the one who volunteered to make the pie for me. You know what? A lowly and despicable woman like you doesn't deserve to eat the delicious fruit pie that my precious daughter herself prepared for you. I know Lucy has put in a lot of time and effort into making this scrumptious dish, and it should be me who gets to savor it. Oh, okay. I'm not coming to the party anyway, so you and other people can enjoy it without me. I seriously don't have any intention of eating that cake either. <sighs> but there's a problem going on here. Why hasn't anyone come to the party yet? Well, since I'm all alone with this heavenly delicious fruit pie, I guess I'll just take a bite. I mean, how can I resist the culinary masterpiece that my daughter's made? It's absolutely divine. She's a gifted baker, but she's always been too humble to consider becoming a pastry chef. I don't know what she's thinking. This pie is good enough for any five-star restaurant. I could easily finish the pie in under a minute. But no, I'm gonna savor it. I'm gonna take my time and enjoy every bite. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm glad I missed it. 
Oh, poor thing. You're so green with envy, it's almost glowing. I guess it's not fair that you can't join the party and taste my daughter's delicious pie. But then again, you're not worthy of such a treat. Oh, I didn't notice. There's a small note next to the pie. Let me see what it says. Oh, what? How, how could this be p possible? Oh no, what did I just eat? What's going on? I can hear the panic in your voice. Are you okay? There's no time to spare. Sophie, you have to help me. Call me an ambulance now! Sophie, I can't believe you didn't come to my pregnancy announcement party. I specifically told you to come, and you said you would. What happened? You're such a filthy traitor to your words. I'm so disappointed in you. I texted you that I couldn't come to the party, and I tried to call you, but you didn't pick up. I'm not sure why you're upset with me. I did everything I could to let you know that I wasn't going to be there. It was because I was busy preparing a special gift I promised you. Do you have any idea what you did to my mom? You almost killed her, you imbecile! What? What did I do? She asked me to call her an ambulance, and I did. Seriously, I don't even know what happened to her. She acted weird after eating that fruit pie you baked for me. That pie was supposed to be for you, not my mom. It's because you didn't show up, so my mom ate it, and now she's sick. It's all your fault! You need to take responsibility for your actions and make this right. Pardon me? You made that fruit pie yourself. What did you put in it? Did you intentionally try to harm me? No way! Shut up. It has nothing to do with me. Just mind your own business, you freak. Well, okay, fine. Everything will be clear as daylight once your mom comes back from the hospital. Sophie! You have to help me. This is urgent. Please don't ignore me. I'm in big trouble now. What is it? I'm kind of busy at the moment, so... Ugh, no, you won't believe what's happening. It's a complete disaster. My mom? She's actually threatening to send me to jail. Can you imagine? It's because... Well, I may have messed around with the fruit pie and now she's in the hospital. And now she's accusing me of attempted murder. I'm freaking out, Sophie. I need your help urgently. This whole mess wouldn't even have occurred if you just come to the party. It's your freaking fault, so do something about it! Mess around with the fruit pie? So you finally admit it, don't you? You deliberately poisoned the fruit pie you made for me. How despicable and utterly cruel of you! I can't believe you would stoop so low as to harm me and my innocent child. You know what? You deserve to rot in jail for all I care. Your true colors have been revealed. You're such a wicked and repulsive woman. Ugh, don't you dare shift the blame onto me. It's all your fault, and you know it. Do you even have a clue how much effort I've invested in ensuring that I have my baby before you? And yet, you selfishly go and get yourself knocked up ahead of me. If you had an ounce of decency, you would have had the courtesy to wait until I was pregnant first. But no, you couldn't resist stealing my thunder, could you? Shameful. Just shameful. But why were you in such dire need to get pregnant before me and harm my child? It still doesn't make sense to me. Well, the thing is, one day I happened to overhear my mom discussing with a friend about a substantial amount of money she intended to grant the first person in her family to give birth. Can you believe it? It was a staggering sum, potentially up to $100,000. Naturally, when I discovered I was pregnant, I was ecstatic and I thought I had a chance to secure that significant financial reward. But no, you just had to be one step ahead of me, didn't you? You went and got pregnant before I had the chance. That left me with no other option but to come up with a plan to make you lose your child. So, it all boils down to money, doesn't it? That's the driving force behind your despicable actions? Now that I know the complete story, I despise you even more, Lucy. Yeah, it's money that I'm after. So what? You're fat, ugly, and stupid. You don't even deserve to have a child. Sorry to say this, but you're the one who doesn't deserve to have a child. You attempted to harm my child, and I'll never forgive you for that. 
It's not my fault that your evil scheme turned out to backfire on you and your mom had to suffer the consequences. So stop wasting your breath. You're going to jail and die alone in it. Oh, please, Sophie, I'm begging you. You're the only one who can help me get out of this mess. You know that I'm pregnant, right? I can't go to prison. It'll destroy both me and my unborn child. I can give you whatever you want. But please, help me this one time. Why should I? You single-handedly orchestrated this entire mess. And now you expect me to clean up after you? Seriously? It's none of my concern. You brought this upon yourself with your own two hands. So it's high time you face the consequences of your actions. Ultimately, Lucy was convicted of attempted murder and handed a severe sentence, which was well-deserved considering her actions. Fortunately for her, her mother consumed only a small portion of the cake and avoided serious poisoning. Following her imprisonment, Lucy's husband swiftly filed for divorce, severing their marital ties. While in prison, Lucy gave birth to her child, but she made the difficult decision to relinquish custody to her husband, enabling her to continue serving her sentence without the added responsibility of raising a child. Upon confronting Josh's mother, she admitted that the alleged $100,000 reward was nothing more than a ploy she concocted to motivate her daughter to put in more effort to have children. She expressed deep embarrassment and sincerely apologized for her ill-mannered behavior towards me. However, I'm not prepared to forgive her just yet, as her actions remain truly unforgivable in my eyes. My husband and I are flourishing, cherishing the precious moments with our little angel, Jake. We will take every opportunity to create lasting memories and strengthen our bond as a genuine and loving family.